do, 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 do. Let me get into the frame really quickly. What is up guys? Welcome back to the Omega Greed YouTube channel where we do a whole bunch of fun things with cars and we learn how to work on all the cars together. If you're new to my channel, my name is Jeffrey. Hey, what's up? Uh, we do videos on my 2017 Ford Focus RS and the Hyundai Veloster N. And uh, yeah, check out my channel. But in today's video, we're jumping right into things. Today's video, we're doing a little bit something, a little bit different. We're giving you guys a quick little story time. I want to tell you guys about the time about the one car that got away that I still think about to this very day. If I would have bought that car, my whole like trajectory of everything would have been completely different. And uh, yeah, so let's jump right into today's video. If you guys are new to my channel, this is actually like way, 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 way when I first started actually trying to really do YouTube with car stuff. I had my first Jeep Wrangler, my very first one that I ever bought. That was a 2007 Jeep Wrangler Unlimited. I bought that car. I traded in my 2012 or 2011. I don't actually remember. My Mazda 6, like my first car that I bought that like it was my first car where I went to a dealership and bought it. I had that car for a while, loved it, enjoyed it, traded it in because I wanted something different. And I got a Jeep Wrangler, which I still love that car. Like to this day, I think about that Jeep Wrangler a lot. If I would have kept that Jeep Wrangler, it would have been great. Uh, the only thing with that car was like when I bought it from the dealership, it was heavily modified. It was lifted, had big wheels, had the roll cage on it. That thing was like great. And man, honest, <laughs> honestly, I'm not even doing the video on that, but I'm still thinking about that vehicle as well. If you guys go way back on my channel. I have videos on that. I think, you know, I'll have a little picture of it kind of up here somewhere. There'll be a picture of it, like a little video clip of that Jeep. Uh, so yeah, I love that thing. But problem was that car had so many electrical problems like literally like the moment I drove it off the lot the thing kept going in limp mode the thing kept breaking down kept dying it was just a whole hassle and I really wanted to make it work but the dealership they're like okay cool you know what we'll we'll make it right we'll buy it back from you you know you can buy get get something else we'll make it work with you so that's what we wind up doing I was really disappointed at the time because I really wanted that Jeep like looking back I should have probably just had them fix it but I don't know. At that moment in time, I was in a completely different mindset. I didn't, I didn't really have the extra money to just like have them drop money in, into it. Um, Cause I believe it had so many miles, like it couldn't, it wasn't like underneath warranty or anything like that. But I honestly, like I, I probably should have had them just like fix it, but I did. I elected to have them buy it back from me and I got something else off of their lot. So what it turns out what I did, looking back, this was another thing. There was plenty of other things on the lot, plenty of other different things. I looked at like a Grand Cherokee, which, you know, I could have got that. I looked at a Liberty. I think I looked at um, some other stuff. There was nothing really on the lot that was catching my eye. I actually, eventually I actually, I got like a normal Veloster. Um, that car, that car sucked. <laughs> That car sucked, which I did videos on that channel. Surprisingly, one of my more popular videos when I did five things I hate about my Veloster <laughs> way back in the day. And who knew that you know my uh, fiance would have a, a Veloster right now? Who would have known? But the car, the one car that was on the lot that looking back, I should have got. I should have got, it would change my, my trajectory of everything. I would have jumped right into the JDM world was a I think it was 2013 FRS. It was orange, it was low, that thing was beautiful. But my biggest hang up was it was manual. And I didn't know how to drive manual at the time and I was so scared. I looked at the car, I wanted that car. It was calling my name and I didn't get into it. And I don't know why I didn't do it at that moment in time. Because guess what, eventually I traded in that Veloster and I got a manual Camaro. I got a V6 Camaro. So, Go figure. If I just would have, I should have skipped all of that, just got the FRS right then and there. It would have saved me a lot of time and effort and money. I should have done. But yeah, so I think about that all the time. If I would have gotten into that then, I probably would have been doing a YouTube much more. It was much, that, especially back then, that was much more of a very popular YouTube video, like YouTube uh, vehicle. I should have jumped into it then. I think about that a lot, but you know what? Hey, things happen, time goes on. You live and you learn, it is what it is. And my biggest regret with that is I didn't jump into it because it was manual and I wanted to drive stick, but I was still scared to. I like knew the concept. I mean, granted, you know, I drove, drove a motorcycle, you know, I've been inside a manual car at that point in time, but I've never driven, driven. And I was like, I don't know if I can do this. I should have jumped in, into it then. Like I really should have done it, honestly. Like it's funny, like, like my fiance, if you're new to my channel, her, 
uh, Velocity Red now is manual. She didn't know how, how, how to drive stick. Literally just bought a brand spanking new manual car. Like screw it, sometimes you just, you just gotta go for it. I should've did it right then and there, but I didn't. And one of the things I do regret to this day. But with that in mind though, it's not all bad though. I did get, it did give me a chance to get into a lot of different other vehicles and really try out different things and see what I really like. Um, you know, from, from, from there, I had, uh, I had the manual V6 Camaro. I, then I got my other Jeep Wrangler. Then I bought, what else did I buy? Then I bought, uh, hmm, what else did I buy? So many different cars. Oh yeah, from that, I had the, uh, the Jeep Wrangler. Then I bought my Challenger. I also had some sidecars. I had the V6 manual Mustang. I had the Creep Jeep Grand Cherokee and the uh, Miata, which was a manual. Um, and then now I have my Ford Focus RS, which is manual as well. So long story short though, really looking back in time, I shouldn't just jump into the manual FRS at the time. Even though it really was down in horsepower, those things still like aren't extremely fast, though it still would have been really, really fun. Looking back though, between that and the V6 Camaro, I still think the V6 Camaro is a better car just because it's slightly, slightly larger, still like, and I mean, I used the back seats pretty well and everything like, like that for what it was. I used the back seats, had fun with it. It was a V6, wasn't the fastest thing in the world, but it had plenty of pep in its step and it, it, it got up and it drove. And like, honestly, though, you know, honestly though, looking back, that, that V6 Camaro wasn't all that bad. It really wasn't all that bad. But I still do think about what would happen if I would have got inside the FRS then. But uh, yeah, honestly, it's kind of weird looking back at memory lane, how many different cars I had on this channel. But uh, yeah, who knows though? It's just a really big, large circle of life when it really comes down to everything like that. Yeah, guys, so the moral of the story is, if you want something, if you want a vehicle and you're scared to buy it, like if you're scared to drive stick or something like that, honestly, I'd say go for it. You only live once, but then again, at the end of the day, like who cares really doesn't, doesn't really matter or the grand scheme of things. If I didn't get the car, there's plenty of other cars out, out there. And I'm not regretting, honestly, the path that I chose just because it got me to where I am right now. Everything is just a big, you know, stepping stones just to do what you want to do. But yeah, guys, this was a short and quick video. I want to give you guys something a little bit different for today. Give you guys a quick little story time to show you guys something a little bit different. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you like this video, give it a like. Follow me on Instagram, Omega Green, same name as YouTube channel. Go to the website, geeksforcards.com. You can shop the merch, look at the products, and look at different stuff. I do a whole bunch of different stuff on there on my Instagram page. I also give you guys sneak peeks of stuff that's going to come up on the YouTube channel before I post it on YouTube. So you can go follow me there. And uh, yeah, guys, we will see you guys in the next video. See you guys.